Hey everyone, James here from QSC UK and I just want to talk to you about the latest QSYS Designer release version 9.2 which adds a bunch of new features and improvements. So let's take a look. Firstly we have the much requested dark mode which comes as part of a general refresh of the QSYS Designer UI and also many new control capabilities. So now you can do CEC control with the NV32 and there's also a bunch of improvements to CSS styling for UCIs. So let's take a look at those features right now. One change you might see in QSYS Designer 9.2 is that the sample designs are no longer installed with Designer itself. If we go to File and click Open Sample Design, we can see that I actually don't have any sample designs here. Now I need to go to Asset Manager and I'm going to scroll down to the area where I have the sample designs. I can select any of these and just press Install and they will be installed to the usual location. Now I can go to File, Open Sample Design and I can see my installed sample design. The benefit to this approach is that we are going to be able to update the sample designs much more regularly as they are no longer tied to a QSYS Designer firmware release. One more feature of QSYS Designer 9.2, which is long awaited by hardworking programmers everywhere, is dark mode. Now you can see that if we click on this little icon up in the toolbar, the whole interface goes dark. Now if we use this with an actual schematic, we can see that the hue of all of our components remains the same when we switch to dark mode, but the luminance is inverted. Any images that you use inside of your schematic will be inverted, but of course user interfaces you've created will not be affected by dark mode. Another new feature in 9.2 is CEC control for HDMI displays connected to the NV32H. We can use this to switch a display on and off via the HDMI connection. If we enable CEC in properties, we then have the option to control the power in the CEC tab in the component, and we can also use the auto power control to turn the display on automatically whenever a signal is present. CSS icon fonts is a new feature in QSYS Designer 9.2, which lets you easily import large icon sets and apply them to objects in UCIs. Here we have a few different examples. A radio button, which changes color and icon when its state changes, a tick box, which can be ticked and unticked, and a button with custom text and an icon where the background color changes. Each of these is created using two stacked CSS classes in this example. In the file here, you can see that we have a simple list of classes which contain the font and the selected icon. This list is imported into another style. That's another 9.2 feature. And the other style adds the colors and other properties. Because the icon and the rest of the style are put together separately, it means it's easy to customize the final look of the object. Here you can see Google's Material Design icon library, which is one of two icon sets included with QSYS Designer, the other being Foundation. But you can add others as well from any font files you may have. So there's a little look at dark mode and the new control features of QSYS. But we also have some improvements to Enterprise Manager. For example, there is a new Assets Viewer in Enterprise Manager. And the idea behind this is that it lets you see all of your AV peripherals throughout your entire organization that are managed by QSYS and managed by Enterprise Manager. Whether these are third-party devices or native QSYS devices, you can now see them all in one place, regardless of what system they're a part of, what site they're on, what core they're connected to. You can see all of them right here. And you can also export this as a CSV file. So that just makes it really easy to share with your colleagues and do asset management more generally. So a nice feature there. And also we've added the ability to connect to the internet from a QSYS core via a proxy server. This is something that's quite important on more security conscious networks where a device is not simply allowed to just go out to the internet. It does need to go through a server. You can now do that with QSYS, which means you can now, of course, use Enterprise Manager on those types of sites. A small improvement to software-based Dante as well. We've now added the ability for more optimized, more network efficient Dante flows when you're creating multicast flows from inside Designer. If you want some more detail on that, of course, do check out the release notes. And also some improvements to the AV stream router. So this is the component we're gonna use if we're routing uh, AV over IP streams for NV series throughout our system. This is now improved for 
larger systems. So if you have a lot of inputs, a lot of outputs, you can now group these rather than just having one gigantic router. You can have these on different tabs. We've also added a uptime website for Enterprise Manager. So if you are using Enterprise Manager, do check that out. And then lastly, there is a new release of the Automatic Camera Preset Recall plugin. It's now on version two. And if you're not familiar with this, it lets you take angle data from the Sennheiser Team Connect Ceiling 2 microphone and bring that into QSIS and use that to control cameras, control camera positions and selected cameras. Um, now the new version of this adds the ability for more cameras, up to eight cameras, but also each of those can have a secondary camera paired with it. And when you do that, these work together. So you have a primary secondary pair and it means that the camera that is not currently visible is the one that will do a camera move to a new location and then be switched to. And if you're on the far end of a call, it means that you never actually see a camera move. You just see the camera switch. So a really smooth experience for the far end user. We've updated all the sample designs for this. So these now include many different examples for making commissioning even more straightforward. And it also now works with discrete Microphone. So if, for example, you have uh, several analog microphones on a table, single channel each, uh, you can now monitor their activity and use that to recall camera presets as well. So definitely check that out. So there we go. There's Designer version 9.2 and a new version of Automatic Camera Preset Recall. Check that out now on the QSC website. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot.